G'day. Here's another typical old-fashioned Algebra 2 textbook problem. It's trying to pretend to be real world, which is silly. So when I, take these, when I see these real world questions in, in a curriculum, I just make them silly. For example, a company produces and sells flugel by the pound. Normally they talk about nails or widgets and stuff, but flugel, let's make flugel. And they say that this company has actually found formulas for its cost and its revenues. That is, revenue is apparently given by a, magically a quadratic formula, negative 2x times x minus 600, and the cost function is given by 200x plus 80,000. Names a nice linear function. Okay, what is, and this is for x was the number of pounds of flugel they make and sell. What does that mean? So to make some flugel obviously costs some money and they found that if you want to make 10 pounds of flugel it's going to cost, you, cost them 200 times 10 plus $80,000. Or to make you know, 40 pounds of flugel it's going to cost them 200 times 40 plus $80,000. I guess the $80,000 is like the initial cost of factory or something. Mm, excuse me. And revenue means when you actually sell that stuff how much money comes in. So the pattern how much comes in is given by a quadratic formula. A company will never know a formula for its profit, for its revenue, yet alone what if they did would be a quadratic formula. So this is just a very hokey problem. But the question says, sketch a graph for the cost and revenue functions. Tell me about the break-even point. Where is it? For which, for which x is the revenue at a maximum? So like how, well, how many pounds of flugel should they make per day to maximize their revenue? And then part d is how many pounds of flugel should they make per day to maximize their profit? Hmm, a little bit strange. What's going there? All right, as per usual, sketching a picture is the best way to go. Pictures speak 10,035 words. All right, here goes. We've got a, first of all, revenue. It's going to be a nice quadratic function because, you know, that's how the real world turns out all the time. In fact, it's kind of nice. This has been arranged to us so I can see some two obvious x values that are interesting right away. At x equals zero, the revenue is zero, which makes sense. If I, if I make and sell no flugel, no money comes in. And the other interesting x value is 600. When I put in x equals 600, uh, no revenue comes in. So maybe what, you flood the market or something? Why, why would the revenue go down if you start making more and more flugel? I guess you don't sell it or something? I don't know. Anyhow, right now I see right off the bat, since it's going to be a quadratic graph, I see it's actually a negative steepness. So it's going to be a nice quadratic graph like this. In fact, whoops, six, not 6,600. And I can see that actually the vertex is at x equals 300. Great. Um, I could probably work out how high that is, but uh, I'm not going to do any work unless I absolutely have to. Uh, cost function. I'll draw on the same set of axes. It's given by a straight line graph at 80,000 plus 200x. Oh, so it's going to be a positive slope starting at 80,000 the axis. Trouble is, I don't know where that 80,000 is. Ugh, all right, I have to work out what x is. But I put in x equals 300, I get, um, uh, what's it, r of 300? I'll do it down here. Hopefully you can still see it. It's negative 600 times uh, negative 300. What's that? That's 18 with some lots of zeros. Oh, that's 180,000. All right. So the revenue is pretty high, so my cost functions are just at 80,000 as a straight line graph like that. Oh, oh, maybe it goes above the vertex. Okay, let's plug in x equals 300 here. I get 80,000 plus six, oh, that 20, okay, this is, this is under 180,000. We're cool. That picture is actually correct. All right, so sketch of each, good enough. Break even point, what does that mean? Well, think about it. What, is, what could break even? What does a company care? Well, it costs them some money to make it, and they bring some money in. So I guess they want to get to the point where the amount of money they, the, the amount it costs them to produce the stuff is covered by how much they bring in. They want to, I guess right now, like down here, the cost is way higher than the money they bring in. And over here, the revenue is way higher than the cost. So the break-even point is like the sweet spot. It's like, oh, we want to get to there. Where is the revenue and the cost matching each other? In fact, there's two places where the revenue costs match each other, but the, I guess we're just the, the smallest amount that we need to make to actually start, beyond which we start making a profit. I bet that is what they mean by the break-even point. So that means solving an equation where I want this graph to equal the other graph. All right, let's do it. Part B, I guess I need the revenue to equal the cost. Uh, that is, I want negative 2x times x minus 600 to equal the cost, 200x plus 80,000. I want the... Uh, money brought in to completely balance the cost to cost to make that money. Um, I can't see what to do, there are a lot of x's everywhere. I usually like to bring all the x stuff around. So let me just uh, expand this out. Negative two x squared plus 1200 x uh, equals 200 x plus 80,000. Okay, uh, let me bring the 200 over. So negative two x squared plus 1000 x equals 80,000. And I'm thinking I'm ready for the box method. Uh, what I'm gonna do 
Uh, I think I can divide by negative two. I could multiply everything through by negative uh, negative two to get a perfect square. But I have a feeling divided by negative two is going to still be nice. X squared minus five hundred x equals forty. Oop, negative forty thousand. There we go. Let's do the box method on that. Uh, these are big numbers. Ugh. All right, x squared comes from x times x. Great. Two pieces of the same, negative 250, negative 250 x, negative x. This must be negative 250, negative 250. So this number is uh, negative 250 squared. 25 times 25 is 625. And I've got some extra zeros. It must be 00, 62,500. All right, so I want the number 62,500. All right. X squared minus 500X plus 62,500 equals negative 40,000 plus 62,500. Oh, gosh, what is that? Um, add 62,002. Oh, you know, these problems are so, so made to be nice. 225, I recognize as 15 squared, and there's a couple of zeros. This is really 150 times 150. This is telling me X minus 250 is either 150 or the negative version 150. Something squared is 2,225,500, uh, therefore that something better be 150 or negative 150. Add 250 for throughout, I get that x is 400 or it is 100. So there are actually two places where the, uh, the profit equals the cost. That is actually at, I guess, 100 and 400, and the break-even point is this one. Break-even point is making 100 pounds of uh, flugel. All right, for which value of x is the revenue at a maximum? Well, we've done that. It's right there. Revenue is this curve. It's the biggest at x equals 300. For which value of x is the profit at a maximum? Now, that was a change of question. The revenue isn't the profit. The profit is how much more money you make. So it's like the differences between the revenue and the cost line. So actually, the profit is going to be uh, I guess revenue take away cost, which is going to be its own formula. So I'm going to quickly just make some space. I hope this erases well enough for the rest of this video. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know what it looks like on your end. On my end, it's looking just as messy as before, but doable. Let's change color pen too. Let's do this blue. All right, profit. So for part D, profit would be the revenue formula minus the cost formula. All right. I know how to do that. Revenue is negative 2x times x minus 600 minus the cost formula, which is 200x plus 80,000. So it'd be take away 200x, take away 80,000. Uh, let me expand stuff out and make it look prettier. So it's negative 2x squared. I get plus 1200x minus 200 is plus 1000x uh, uh, minus 80,000. Um, Okay, if I were to sketch this thing, because the picture is always worth a thousand words, this is, uh, let's take a 2x, neg 2x, neg 2x times x minus uh, 500, uh, minus 80,000. All right, very quickly, this profit graph, if I were to sketch it, has x equals zero and x equals 500 being interesting. At x equals 0, we get negative 80,000. At x equals 500, we also get negative 80,000. We're way down here. It's a downward facing graph, negative steepness, um, at, uh, with uh, symmetrical points at 500 and 0, which means it must be a graph like this. I'll note one point the profit is maximum. And without doing any work, I know that middle point has to be halfway between 0 and 250, uh, 500, which is 250. The maximum profit is at x equals 250. It's a different answer. To maximize your profit, you only need to make 250 pounds of flugel. To maximize your revenue, you need to make 300 pounds of flugel. And it's not surprising that actually the answer's shifted away from 300, because really, if you, if you look at the difference of these two graphs, it's probably you can see it's going to be a parabola, or some sort of U-shaped graph that's sort of tilted, because that cost line is tilted. Maybe the better observation to note is I could have done this without little work. We know the profit is zero at 100, and the profit is zero at 400, and now that we can see from this form it's going to be a symmetrical U-shaped graph that's zero at two places, that means the, the vertex must be exactly halfway between 100 and 400, and what's halfway between those two? 100 to 400 is 500 divided by 2 is 250.